I swear to you, Trevor, if he lays one finger out, I'm gonna kill him. Tad, there's no proof that Billy Clyde kidnapped. Wrong. That's exactly what she was it's trying to tell be, us. It's gotta be. All the one eye stuff. One eye this, one eye that. It's the Cyclops. I mean, I feel so stupid. I knew he was after two days ago when he called. Tad, you blaming yourself isn't gonna do any good here. What we gotta do is find the guy. Now, wait a minute. Wait, wait just a second. You just popped a friend of his at uh, Ricky someone. Ricky Grip. Name? Right, right. He's gotta know where he is, right? Yeah, he's out on bail. Is he still around? Yeah, he better be. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Letty Jean might know where he is. Come on, let's go. Okay. Okay. Fat. Don't worry about it. I'll stay in touch. Well, come on. Should have known. I should have known Dix was in trouble when she called me. I'm I'm very sorry, Trevor. She just doesn't deserve this. I know. In the hell do I have to do? Get a court order to keep you out of my house? Now, stop it, Pops. I'm here on police business and it happens to be about your last wife. Remember her? Dixie? She's missing. My bride. My beautiful bride. Today you are going to make me the happiest man in the universe. I tried to warn her against him. I told her that the man is a maniac. He is insane and he is dangerous. Why didn't she listen to me? Don't her? blame Dixie, Adam. Have, have you, what have you been doing? Do you have any leads? No, we've got nothing concrete, but we will find Dixie and we will put Tugger where he belongs. Fine. If you, if you need any financial aid, uh, the police reward. are handling the case. You can't buy Dixie back with your big bucks. No, but if it will help, if there's a ransom, we can pay it. You have you checked on her whereabouts before she... No, as a matter of fact, I'm uh, interviewing people who have seen her yesterday, which I've got to do right now. Thank you very much. If there's anything we can do to help. Yeah, I'll be in touch. You find out anything, you we'll call. Me. We'll call, of course. If that's the best the police can do. Trevor is very good at his work. Trevor Dillon couldn't find Dixie if she was sitting in our park. Oh, Adam, I for one am very happy that he's on the case. I know that he's going to do everything he can to find Dixie. This shall be the most Beautific wedding that has ever taken place. And you shall be the most beautiful bride in the history. Oh! Fudge you. Mm. Alas, will love and cherish you forever and ever. Oh, just give me a goosey bumps thinking on it. Huh? Oh, my sweet Dixie. Ever since that night, I saw you from down on that ditch. I knew. I knew my honey still. Dixie? It sent you to me. Will you have this man to be your husband? To live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him? Comfort him? Honor and keep him? In sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep you only unto him? For so long as you both shall live. I'll come. Tad, will you take Dixie to be your wedded wife? To live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her? Comfort her? Honor and keep her? In sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep you only unto her? For so long as you both shall live. When you realized the rightness of our union and decided you would be my bride. Oh, but I knew it, you see. I, I had faith all along that your heart would melt into man. And my faith is what made it so. He's here. He's here. Oh, 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 our man of the cloth has finally arrived to make us one. <laughs> Rayburn! Oh, am I glad you're on time. We are rip roaring, ready to go. Thank you, Letty. 
I knew you'd come through for us. I just wish I'd been able to lead you to Billy Clyde himself. When's the last time you saw him? Not for months. Of course, he knew he was off my list after what he'd done to you and Emily Ann. Oh, that's Ricky. Rick, over here, Ricky. Hey, no. So who's the friend that needs to see me? I, uh, I, I need to know the last time you saw Billy Clyde Tuggle. I don't have any reason to tell anybody a damn thing. Yeah. What is this? Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't have to worry about me. I'm serious here. If it's money you want, just... Hey, green stuff cheap. doesn't mean much to me nowadays. You know what I mean? I'm about to be tossed into the bridge. We're talking about a life here, Ricky. Right, we're talking about my wife, okay? We think these kidnappers gonna hold up someplace. <laughs> I thought you guys split up. All right, fine, I'm divorced. It doesn't mean I don't want to get away from Billy Clyde. Look, I can't help you. I'll try. Well, I said I can't help you. I'm gonna do it the hard way. Easy, man. Save it, Tad. It's not the way to do it. Put the glass down. He knows what she is, I'm telling you. He knows. All you can say is not the way to do it. Hey, man. Trev, just another setup? Huh? See, it's a uh, friendly coincidence, Ricky Pal. Uh. How come you don't want to go along with my friend's ideas here, huh? Why the hell should I? Do you like your song? You like the way you sing it? We'll talk to the DA. And maybe, just maybe, go a little lighter on you with this uh, video scam thing. Yeah, we're talking to the DA. Maybe. Definitely. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I heard from Rocco Billy, all right? All right, the guy's a total nutcase lately. You gotta know that. We know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, when, when did you talk to him? A couple of days ago, he gives me a ring, you know? He's telling me he's getting married. And he did that? Getting married. Yeah. <laughs> well, Reverend Muldoon, I'd like you to meet my beautiful bride, Dixie Cooney. Morning. Well, <laughs> let's just settle for Dixie, shall we? Since you'll be changing your name real soon. <laughs> Can't be soon enough for me. <laughs> now I have here on this beautiful prayer book for my beautiful bride. Open directly to the wedding ceremony. Uh, actually, uh, that won't be necessary. She'll be what? taking your responses from me. Oh, well, that's okay. I mean, if, if, if Billy wants me to, to use the book, I, I will. It is so pretty. Oh, not near so pretty as you. This is indeed a match made in heaven. But all the celestial blessings therefrom. Uh, so, uh, mm. shall we proceed? Oh, yes, I'm quite ready. <laughs> You're truly quite ready to be. Where is it? What? The ring. I just had it. I can't find the damn thing. Really? Huh? This is a sacred yeah. sacrament. Oh, golly, gee. Fudge. Hush. I will... How can we get married without a wedding ring? Now that's the word right here. Sweetheart, maybe you put it in the uh, in the other room. In the, well, I may may have. I, I got so darn discombobulated this morning. What with all oh. typical nervous <sighs> room. Mm. Y'all stay put and I'll be right back. I'll just go fetch it. Crazy. The criminal ends getting kidnapped. This is no time for jokes. I'm really not joking. I swear to you, I am a prisoner here, and that's why I'm just playing along with him. Okay, he's really dangerous. He's got a gun. All right, so we gotta get in your car and get out of here now. Come on. What are you doing? Billy. No. Your bride to be has had a sudden attack of nerves. No, oh, no, no. Really? Oh, I just want to know. Don't tell me what's going on here now. Oh, don't you believe me? Oh. It appears you have a most reluctant bride. Oh, please, I swear everything I said was the truth. I think perhaps you'd better straighten it out. We had a slight lover's quarrel before you arrived, but we'll get it straightened out. That's, that wakes us in no time That's not true. That is not true. Well, I hope so, Billy. I've always felt the love of a good woman was all you needed to keep you on a straight and narrow. You, you know each other. Billy and I go back a long way. You're in on this? Together? I'm a man of the cloth. The devil is helping him. Dixie! I did not come all the way from Center City oh. to be abused. Now pull yourself together, young lady. You have offended the Padre. Oh! Okay. It's okay. Look, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really sorry. I really didn't mean it, but you got to help me out, okay? Dixie. You can't just leave me here. Look, I'm scared of him, all right? I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid of what he's going to do to me. I love you so. How could I ever hurt okay. you? I'm begging, all oh. right? Please don't leave me oh, here. Shut him. You misunderstand, Billy. He's a good man. He loves you very much. 
he would never do anything to hurt you. I'd sooner cut off my own right arm than ever I... bring harm to you. Why am I here? Why am I locked in here? Why do you have a gun? Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you? Don't All right. All right. Hey. 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 Oh. Why don't you call me when your bride settles down in that way? We'll take it from there. <laughs> Peace be with you real soon. And with you. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Do you abominably, young lady. We hate you. Hate me all you wish. But know this. There is no way out for you, Dixie. None whatsoever. And the sooner you can realize that, and the happier we will be. You and Tuggle did your time together. Yeah. And Billy was telling me that uh, he was trying to get this guy that we were in stow with. Uh, what guy? This minister. You remember the minister? Muldoon. Something yeah. Muldoon. He got a certificate of divinity by filling out a form in the back of a magazine and paying ten bucks. What was he in for? Hey, whatever he did, he didn't do. <laughs> State then? Yeah. You know where he is? I haven't a clue. When he got out of the stir, he said he was going to try and round up a congregation. I have no idea where he ended up. Well, we better find him, because he's the only lead we've got. I know you are disappointed, dear one. And so am I. But fear not, for I shall take care of everything. What are you talking about? You're talking about us, about our marriage. I don't want to marry you. Oh, sweet. Thing. Dry those sad tears. We didn't need that mail order minister to marry us. As long as we are married in the eyes of our Heavenly Father, that is what counts. Honey, <laughs> you are mine. Oh, honey, don't cry on the dress. In fact, here, <laughs> take it off now. Take it off so it will not get soiled. Oh, my. What? <laughs> My dear wife to be, I'm going to scribe down the vows that we shall exchange from one to the other. Thus, we shall marry ourselves. To love and to cherish. Hush. To honor and to obey. <laughs> There's a good one right there. Obey. Huh? There's some you need a little work in this department. <laughs> you say you really love me. I do really love you. Well, then, you? you shouldn't try and force me to do something that's wrong for me. No, it's not wrong. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is very wrong to lie to God, okay? And I don't want to marry you. Oh, well, that is twaddle and nonsense. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm begging you, Harry. I have a little boy, and I miss him very much. Please let me go. He thinks I've deserted him. Please let me go to him. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel the pain that you are going through. Well, let me go to my boy, okay? Let me put my arms around me. Oh, I would so love to grant you this wish. You can't. No, no, I, I cannot live the rest of my life without you. Well, I cannot live without my son. No, I'm afraid that's the way it is. I need you more than he does. He's just a baby. Darling, I told you. Pretty soon we'll go back there and we'll pick him up and bring him home. No way. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bring him here. You cannot make me do that. I am not going to let you leave. Well, then we're just going to have to try and stop him. Don't do this to me! Know this is so. Let me go! Let me go! 